Hi YouTube, it's Mama Dodon. I'm in my car and I am doing my real estate course. This is day three and I kind of just wanted to make an update video on it. I'm not sure when I'll upload the video, but I am making it on day three of real estate course. And there are a few things that I've discovered through the course. One, I already knew that this was gonna be a business investment and it was gonna require more money to get started than just the class and passing my exam costs. There's a lot that goes into real estate and you kind of need some capital to go in and do it successfully. And I realized that. And I wanted to get this license basically as a backup to my Amazon business just to make sure that I had an additional source of income in case something did happen with my business and I wasn't able to do that anymore. So this is basically just creating stability for me. Um, and I don't intend to fully dive into the real estate business until I get my debt paid off and can build up some capital to invest into that business. I don't want to take out of my Amazon business to do that because my Amazon business right now is guaranteed success. It's been stable for three years now. I know that when I put money into it, I'm going to get money back out. I don't know that with real estate and I haven't really built up the reputation to really assure myself that yes, I will be able to get all of my investments back in a timely manner. Um, and the likelihood of me starting out in that way where I'm making money as soon as I spend money is not very probable. Not for any business, including real estate. So, um, basically my goal right now is to get this class done, which was $650. Then I will pay for my license and pay for my exam, which is about $200 total. And that is the complete investments that I'll be putting into the real estate business right now. Um, and then once my debt is paid off, hopefully uh, by January 2020, then I will get a job uh, under a broker, which is what you have to do when you become like a licensed real estate agent. You have to work under a real estate broker and I will actually start using my license to um, gain an income, if that makes any sense. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my class actually, because here is my real estate license book. You can see it's like a really big book here. Uh, that you basically go over this is the whole class that I'm going to be taking. I'm in an accelerated course for two weeks where we just we spend every single day going over things and I wanted to just talk to you guys real quick about everything that I'm learning. It's a lot. So here are all the different chapters that I will go through. Introduction to the real estate business, real property and the law, concepts of home ownership, real estate agency, real estate brokerage, brokerage agreements, interests in real estate, forms of real estate ownership, legal descriptions, real estate taxes and liens, real estate contracts, transfer of title, title records, Illinois real estate license law, real estate financing principles, real estate financing practice, leases, property management, real estate appraisal, land use controls, property development, fair housing and ethical practices, environmental issues, real estate transaction, closing the real estate transaction, and real estate mathematics. So there's a lot that goes into this. It's learning all the legalities, it's learning the math behind how you appropriately figure out everything for commissions and the size of the house and the price of the house, everything like that. Um, all the different components that go into listing properties, managing properties if you're going to do rentals, um, selling properties, being like a buyer's agent, representing a buyer. There is a lot that goes into real estate and it's a lot to learn. Um, it's something I've always been passionate about. With my ex-husband, he owned two like investment properties, rental properties up in Alaska, and I helped manage those when I was married to him, kind of in an owner slash manager position. So I have some knowledge of buying, selling, uh, renting, managing homes, and I've always had a passion for real estate. I've always like watched houses go on the market on Zillow and Trulia, and I understand a lot of the concepts. Also, before I started my real estate class, I had done two online courses that I found and listened to Audible books on real estate, which really helped me give, helped give me the backup knowledge to go into this class and kind of almost use it as a refresher course because I had already um, 
become familiar with a lot of the terms and been through some practice classes to understand what I would be learning in this class. This class is a lot more in depth, but because I did those practice courses, I came in prepared with some back knowledge that really allowed me to take in everything in this class uh, in a way that wasn't completely overwhelming to my brain because it's a lot of information to take in and to memorize and to make sure that you're retaining so you can pass your exam and also uh, practice real estate legally and not do anything that is going to get you in trouble. <sighs> so yeah, um, it's it's been kind of exhausting because I'm driving uh, two hours each way. Um, so two hours here and two hours back. I leave at 6.30 in the morning and I get back around 6 at night. And it's very tiring to do that long of a drive. And it's also really hard because this is the first time I've been away from Charlotte, my one-year-old, for an extended period of time. And it's taxing to have to say goodbye to her so early in the morning and only see her for a couple hours at night before we go to sleep. It's really hard, but I am only doing this for two weeks. So there's kind of a light at the end of the tunnel of one, getting my real estate license and two, being able to go back to being a work from home mom where I get to spend most of my time with Charlotte, which is nice. And I didn't realize how much I would miss it until now. I'm very grateful for my mom for coming up and watching her. I really appreciate that. And that is the only thing that's made this possible for me. So far, the class is going well. I don't have wood to knock on, but if I did, I would totally knock on it right now. Um, it's been really informative. I am working under a lady named Alice Moss um, in the Illinois area, and she is an awesome teacher. She really goes through the concepts in a way that she makes them into kind of personal stories so you can, one, remember the information that she's giving you, and two, really understand it and see how it would apply in like the real life world of real estate and she is amazing and I appreciate her so much for the way that she's teaching the class. It's really allowed me to have a more in-depth understanding of the career path that I am going to pursue at some point. But yeah, it's been, it's been fun. I definitely miss my kiddo. It's only day three and I already miss her so much. I'm looking forward to the weekend where I can just cuddle her and play with her the whole time. Um, but the class has been super informative and I'm feeling really confident in the fact that once this class is over, I'll be able to take my exam within a week or two and pass it. Um, so I'm excited. I'm really excited to get my real estate license and see where this takes me. As I said, I won't be utilizing it right off the bat because it will be a business investment that I'm going to be doing later on. But once I get a majority of my debt paid down, that's when I'll really start pursuing this path of uh, real estate as a secondary career to my Amazon business. <sighs> yeah, so I'm actually sitting outside the office right now. It's the morning. I got here a little bit early, so I just wanted to make a quick update video um, and let you guys know how it was going, and it's been going very well so far. I need to do an update video on my diet uh, challenge where I'm not eating desserts or processed snacks for an entire year. That's been going well, but Honestly, this month has been so busy, it's flown by so fast already, that I haven't really had a chance to sit down and do that. And I have even more things going on behind the scenes that I haven't even told you guys about. You'll hear about them soon enough, but it's not really something I can talk about quite yet. So I, I have just so much stuff going on this month, and it's awesome because I feel like so many little components in my life are really coming together in a really awesome way. And that's something I'm really excited about, but it has been very busy. So some of my YouTube little ventures are falling to the wayside. But I did want to make this update video for you guys. And just the fact that I have like 616, 15 followers right now is insane to me. 615 people have subscribed and that is so awesome. Thank you so much if you're one of those people. And if you're not one of those people and you're just watching, thank you as well because the views mean so much to me and just seeing that people care is so cool. And I hope that just by recording my daily little life, maybe I'm entertaining people or people can relate or maybe even people are getting some kind of motivation or information from my videos and that makes me feel so awesome that I'm sitting down and doing this. <sighs> but anyways, it's getting close to time for me to go into class, so I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully upload this video here soon, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.